Let's knock it out. Azaro, the most wanted parfum, the newest release. So they're going strong with the wanted line. And this is a fragrance line where I'm glad they are. Uh, wanted by Night, the most wanted, two really solid men's releases in my opinion. There could be kind of up in the air for some people they could do without them, but I think as far as flankers go, as far as the general current landscape of men's fragrances right now and all of the new releases, uh, Wanted by Night and The Most Wanted are pretty solid, especially Wanted by Night. I think this one here is very well done. Price to performance ratio and complement factor combined makes for a really good scent that's very suitable for cool weather. And uh, so to see the flankers rolling strong here and see that they're continuing with the richer fragrances instead of going in the direction like Tonic did. Uh, I'm excited. The note breakdown looks good. I'm just going off of the three note note breakdown that's on Macy's where you can get this one right now. I'll link it down below and uh, we'll see what it's all about. 100 mil bottle. Let's break it open. Okay, here we go. So $105 for the 100 mil bottle. Not terrible. Can't complain. Prices are going up on all new fragrances pretty much across the retail market. Nothing new there uh, is what it is. At some point, this one will be on discounters for around, uh, I don't know, hopefully $40, $50, somewhere around in there. Um, you're going to be, don't hold your breath, uh, the most wanted here. This bottle still hasn't landed on discounters yet, at least consistently for a price that's significantly below retail. Maybe it'll show up here and there and it goes quick. Um, so if you say you wanna wait around for this one to hit, you can do so, but you might be waiting a better part of a year and a half or so, maybe longer before it's consistently stocked. Um, so we'll go ahead and spray this one on and see what it's all about. I love the coloration. Love the deep, ambery, rich color down here. Uh, really, uh, actually we'll go over this first here. Really kind of just looks like a, a spinoff of Wanted by Night, if I can get the cap back on. Um, bottle size is different obviously, but deeper, richer amber color down below, this kind of gunmetal finished up top. Right here we've got a, a, you know, kind of a yellowish tint to it with more of a silverish uh, top portion with a little bit of a tint to it. So uh, it looks a lot different than the most wanted. So it almost is like a Zaro Wanted by Night Parfum versus the Most Wanted Parfum bottle-wise, but we'll see what the scent has to say about that. I'm excited. I love the look of the notes, the three that they give you. I love the idea of this. So let's go ahead and get this one on and we'll see what it's all about. So yeah, definitely leaning more in the direction of the Most Wanted here. Um, doesn't really have too much of that Wanted by Night smell necessarily. But it does have a nice amount of sweetness. And one thing that I'm picking up on right away is this oaky bourbon smell. So one of the notes I believe is bourbon vanilla. And you do kind of pick up on this boozy nuance, almost kind of a similar feel to something like uh, Armani Stronger With You, absolutely a little bit because you almost get this kind of chestnut smell in combination with this booziness, in combination with the sweetness. Just one little thing to throw out there, but there is this, for lack of better terms, nuttiness about this one, a nutty smell. Uh, I'll look at the note breakdown real quick. Red ginger up top, incandescent woods accord in the mid, bourbon vanilla in the base. So they're not giving us like a chestnut, but I kind of pick up on something to that effect. A little bit of a booziness, like I mentioned, bourbon vanilla, that's a good way to put it. The vanillic sweetness is really kind of embodying this one and you pick up on it right away. And definitely a spiciness up top, you know, that ginger really does kick this one off. It's kind of a spiced, sweetened up ginger accord. Uh, really, really like how it smells. Very pleasant here. Um, and what I find is that, let me actually go and spray on the Most Wanted on my other hand, just to do a side-by-side -side comparison. Because what I remember from the Most Wanted, this one right here, is yeah, you get hit with more of a, like a punchy sweetness from the Most Wanted. Uh, it, it's a little bit more forthcoming. I mean, it hits you right away. Maybe a little bit more of a somewhat playful approach from the most wanted because you get this strong toffee note. So it's almost like a, a gourmand sweetness, uh, but a lot of sweetness and there isn't as much balance to counteract that in my opinion. 
uh, and the most wanted here. Uh, and don't get me wrong, when comparing it to the original wanted and tonic, I take this one. But again, uh, the staple for me has always been wanted by night. Uh, even the most wanted couldn't dethrone that one. But, you know, smelling uh, the most wanted parfum, I think this one more than anything else could have the potential to uh, really rival wanted by night for me in a good way. Because I like that that nice different accord in here. You know, there is some sort of differentiating factor in here that nutty smell, whether it be chestnut or or pistachio or something along those lines. Uh, the nice variety of woods that's going on in here. It's almost like a little bit of a spicy dry cedar wood, a little bit of a creamy sandal wood, um, maybe even an ebony wood. And then that ginger to kick it off. You know, it's a nice different take. And when you smell the most wanted and the most wanted parfum, there's an obvious difference. Uh, to me, the most wanted parfum has a little bit more of a somewhat challenging aspect, so to speak. I would think that uh, the enthusiast person that's into fragrances on a higher level would probably uh, tend to gravitate more towards the most wanted parfum here because of that differentiating factor in here uh, with those different notes and accords. You know, I think for a lot of people, and in some instances, even myself, the most wanted, um, this one over here, it, it can come across a little bit too sweet in some instances. You know, I mean, it really goes hard. It's kind of uh, on a similar level to something like Ferragamo Womo where it's sweetness all the way through, and there isn't much to balance it out. That's good for some people, and in some instances, I'm down for it. Other times, it's like, whoa, that's a little bit too much. Most Wanted Parfum is doing a good job of balancing that out here. And I like it a lot, more than I thought I was going to. Now, it is a true parfum concentration, and I can tell by the way it's wearing that it's going to be a softer projector. So for the people out there who want big, loud, strong, heavy projection, I can already tell you that uh, the most wanted parfum is not gonna give that to you. But I do have a feeling that uh, longevity wise, it's gonna really do well. Uh, I can just tell it's, you know, it's gonna be a, a true parfum wearing experience. Sits closer to the skin, However, I do think that this one will leave a, a decent substantial trail. So you spray it on, you walk through the room, it's gonna linger in the air for a good amount of time versus some strong projecting fragrance where it pushes out in a distance while you're standing there. Um, this one's gonna do more of the former. And I'm okay with that. I prefer fragrances that perform that way nowadays. Uh, I, just, I just prefer that, you know, a little bit more, um, I guess, mild, so to speak, more laid back wearing experience. So you're not also assaulting your own nose when you wear this one. Um, so I'm excited to see how it performs. Of course, I'll follow up with a full review. That's really kind of where I'm at, you know. Uh, it's way too soon to tell. Do I like it better than um, the most wanted? I could say at this point, Smelling the two by side by side. I think I do like it better than the most wanted by a substantial amount. The longer it sits, the more that chestnut starts to come in or some sort of nutty note in combination with the woods and the bourbon vanilla. It really changes it up. It makes it such a, a kind of refresher here because it's different than all of them. You know, it, it shares similarities to the most wanted, but still has its own uh, personality here. Um, would it dethrone Wanted by Night? That's where it's too soon for me to tell. Um, getting back to that point, I don't know yet. I would need more time with this one because I've had a lot of time with this one. So we'll have to see. You know, it's it's really kind of out of that season. Uh, I won't be able to know until we get into fall later this year again to where I can test the most wanted parfum consistently in cool weather. But right off the bat, I've got to say I do enjoy it. Would this one pan out to be one of my favorite releases of the year? Uh, it, it wouldn't be as high as like Aqua de Joe, Eau de Parfum, or Gentleman Reserve Privé, or uh, Light Blue, Italian Love. Not quite going to be to those levels yet for me. Um, but I do like it better than, oh, I don't know, what else has been out this year that I haven't really liked? Um that's a good question, actually. I know I, that One Million Elixir was kind of, yeah, it's not bad. I think I would probably take this one over One Million Elixir for whatever that's worth. 
Uh, but still, it's too soon to tell um, in terms of the broad landscape because a lot more things are going to come out. But right now, it's off to a good start. And again, I have to show this one more time. That bottle coloration and contrast here looks awesome. If it doesn't win as the best smelling fragrance in the line, it might actually take the cake for me as the best looking one in the line over Wanted by Night. And even over um, the most wanted. I love all blacked out bottles, but this scent doesn't really match this bottle very well. This one does more so. So uh, yeah, there you go. If you've tried the most wanted parfum, let me know what you think of it down below. Do you like it? Do you not? Uh, I like it. I'm impressed and I'm excited to see what you guys have to say. I'm excited for it to eventually hit discounters because at that point, I think it's going to be a really, really attractive pickup. Uh, I will link it down below. It's going to do it for me. Thank you so much for watching. Stay safe, stay healthy, and we'll see you tomorrow with another one. Take care.